Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. I'm Barb Mitchell, and I'm joining you today live from DCD Connect in London. And joining me is Husi Vihusalo, who is the head of business development for uh, critical power solutions and data centers for Eaton. That was a mouthful, but <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, just if we could start by telling our viewers a little bit about Eaton. Yes, so e Eaton is global power management company and uh, where we are well known in data center industries that, that we, we are basically provider, technology provider for the whole power drain for data centers, starting from the medium, vol uh, medium voltage transformers down to the rack level uh, power distribution components and uh, UPSCs, medium voltage switch gear, low voltage switch gear, rack PDUs, and then of course to bundle and glue all these together. So we are also pr providing software solutions for monitoring the data centers. So digging in a little bit more to that, one of the areas that, that I think it would be interesting to explore would, would be how Eaton is helping data centers to reduce energy consumption, while at the same time helping them to maximize performance. Yeah, so we have, of course, a lot of innovation in our products. And uh, actually, just this year, we launched new UPS solutions to markets that, that are running at higher efficiency than the previous generation. So basically, we are able to cut the energy consumption by approximately 30% when we are operating in double conversion mode. That is the kind of, uh, I would say, still industry standard in, in many applications. So uh, the majority of the, the um, um, impact co is coming really from this type of modern uh, power electronics that we can provide and therefore ensure the highly efficient power drain. Um, additionally, of course, we are providing, uh, as mentioned, software solutions that they are then helping us to understand our uh, data center also from the energy consumption viewpoint and and that's providing us lots of different metrics that we can we can see and and follow and then ensure that we are operating in a kind of a best possible efficiency and also have, have some recourse to track back also our history in terms of the consumption I, and I know it's this is such an important topic right now when you we think about the the, the huge growth of data centers and and the impact that's having and the you know, the requirement for power and electricity. Can you talk a little bit about how data centers can both stabilize the electrical grid while also providing value back to grid operators? It's, yeah, that's, it's a bit of a dichotomy maybe. Yeah, that's actually a good topic. So Eaton, to, to go back a bit, so Eaton launched this type of grid interactive technologies already in 2018. And we have had solutions in, in the flexibility market since 2019, so five years already. Data centers actively participating for, for uh, demand side flexibility schemes. And, and uh, why they want to do it is of course that, that by that, by offering that flexibility from the data centers, the data center operator, they can support the power grids to be more reliable, but then also to manage the possible problems that huge amount of renewables are generating for the grid itself. And uh, the nature of the renewables are such that it's volatile. So we have volatility in the production. So we, we need to have some flexibility to manage this volatility on the consumption side. But then also now when we introduce increased amount of renewables and we are phasing out this type of a traditional generation methods that are based on rotating masses and these rotating masses are actually containing the uh, inertia that is then making the um, frequency to to um, they, they are sustaining the frequency in the grid in case of unbalance and now when we are phasing out this inertia uh, based generation by wind power that is not containing this inertia these uh, unbalanced situations they become actually more rapid in terms of the deviation in the grid frequency that is not acceptable by the loads and we need to find some solutions from the flex uh, consumption side to provide this flexibility to offset this type of a reduction in the inertia we are seeing in the grid so without this type of flexibility it could be that we cannot maximize the, the uh, build out of the renewables in our grids. 
I, I, and you, you speak a lot about renewables, obviously, which makes me think in general just about how important sustainability is, you know, in the industry right now. Is that something that you're focused on strongly at Eaton? And if, if so, how? Yes, yes. The sustainability overall, of course, it's important topic for us as a company. That's, of course, one of our uh, company objectives to provide sustainable solutions. We have a lot high sustainability standards in our own operation. So certainly on that side, that's important for us. But then, of course, even more importantly, we want to help our customers to provide sustainable solutions to match with their sustainability targets. And, and uh, when we look what Eaton is doing on that front, so first of all, it starts from thinking that how do we manufacture the products in a sustainable way. We have uh, we are using renewables in our production. We have local manufacturing. So within Europe, for example, we have our plants to serve the European market. We don't need to transport huge amount of uh, equipment from other continents, for example, to serve the customers in 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 Europe. Then then of course. How do we, uh, how, how have we designed the product itself and, and what type of carbon is associated to manufacturing and building the product? So we are actually tracking all that. We have the product environmental passports and that's actually a new requirement by many customers that they want to see the carbon handprint of the product. Uh, and, and, and kind of, uh, they, they want to measure that, that what's the carbon associated in building the data center. And yeah. then of course, for Thirdly, the uh, uh, sustainability in the operation. So we build solutions that are operating with high efficiency. We build uh, solutions that are allowing us to track the efficiency and the sustainability of the data centers. And then maybe uh, fourthly also, we try to consider that, okay, so what we need to think about when we are retiring equipment or data centers so there needs to be a level of recyclability yeah. we have service offering to extend product lifetime that we don't need to throw the the uh, equipment away but we can still carry on using them and, and they keep being reliable so so basically we are looking the whole uh, life cycle of data center from design until the retirement basically in yeah. our uh, solutions yeah amazing you have a very clear roadmap for what what you believe in as a, as a company and, and what actions you're taking. And that's really great to hear. And, and so stepping, I guess, up from that a little bit, this is an important topic to the entire industry. And, and so you obviously at Eaton have an amazing plan against this. What, what do you think is the biggest thing that the industry can do uh, to make the, the largest impact just in general over the digital infrastructure industry? Yeah, in, in terms of sustainability, so I, I think naturally many many topics they relate to uh, saving in energy consumption and also utilizing the the waste that the data center may generate so over there of course the the new uh, uh, on-site generation technologies for example to phase out diesel from the data center design uh, solutions that are supporting this alternative longer duration uh, backup solutions or on-site generation solutions. They are, I think, in the heart of this innovation. New power electronic technologies that are supporting well that, but also uh, operating in, in high efficiency. And then uh, I would say that also uh, on the thermal management of the data center. So it, it's becoming already quite uh, normal in many locations that we are utilizing the waste heat from the data center and pushing the, the extra heat to the district heating system to repurpose the heat for for application we need anyways to have some heating basically households or swimming pools whatsoever yeah it sounds like we're going to need to get you in our next book <laughs> we were chatting a little bit about that earlier of greener data maybe the next volume maybe you can uh, tell us share some of your insights so that you know the rest of the world can hear but uh, in the meantime we hope that our viewers have enjoyed hearing you i've enjoyed uh, talking to you thank you so much for your time Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, enjoy you. the rest of the show. Will do. Thanks. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV, coming to you live from DCD Connect in London. Until next time. Thank you.